Without further ado, Johan Marwana. Thank you. Um, a year ago, I have to say, this was not the thing I thought I'd be doing. A year ago, I was an ordinary doctor in North London delivering babies um, and going home to see my son and generally quite happy in my life in terms of, like many doctors, I think, I look around and we are not a politicised bunch. We are not the ones that take to the streets. I have to say, I'm sure that's a, maybe a difficult thing to say in this crowd, but it is, it's, it's the truth. Doctors don't tend to take to the streets. What they do is they go to work, they look after their patients, they look after their families, and they try and get on with their lives. Because what they want to do is provide safe care for the NHS, safe care for their patients. That's their driving ethos in the NHS, is to provide a service. People dedicate their lives to the NHS. They dedicate their working lives to ensuring that patients out there have a fair system, that they do not have to worry about paying for it, that they get the care that they deserve and the care that absolutely they need. Unfortunately, since then, something else happened. Somehow, this government has managed to poke at a probably a rather sleeping bear over, the, over this last uh, eight months. They have absolutely managed to piss off a generation of doctors. And it is absolutely amazing how they've managed it because these are not people. It is very hard to make a, a group of doctors this angry. But my God, are they seething. And the reason they're seething is because actually this is completely unfair. This is completely ridiculous. And the fact they won't talk to us is completely stupid. So, if you want a seven-day NHS in this country, pay for it, test it, work it out, staff it, but don't just try and do it on the back of the frontline staff. We dedicate our lives to the front to the NHS and we're happy to do so, but you can't break the frontline staff in trying to push through a political agenda that is unfunded, untested and completely wrong. <laughs> Junior doctors are not the barrier to, to change. We fight every single day for our patients and we happily do so. Not just junior doctors, every member of staff in the NHS, nurses, consultants, everyone. We, the reason that we dedicate our lives to the NHS is because we believe in it. We believe that we can actually make a difference in individuals' lives. When you deliver that baby, when you look after that person in the last few days of their life, that means something. You take that home and you, and you enjoy that feeling that you've made a difference. No one else needs to know about it. You don't need to play it. You don't need to make a big song and dance about it, but you do it because you care. And that caring is being squeezed out of this system. That goodwill is almost gone. And that is the, re that is the fault of this government and these policies. This is absolutely a disaster for this country. It is completely wrong. And we as a country need to stand up and say to this government, this is not what any of us want. As citizens of this country, no one wants this. We want a health service that genuinely is there to look after us all when it matters, that stands up and catches us when we fall. If we can't have that kind of service, why, what is the point of government? Why, why do we even have this government if they can't even be bothered to look after the most vulnerable and sick people out there? Instead of pushing... So there are 17 days to go to one of the most, to something that no junior doctor ever wants to see. Strikes are not something that we do. It is not something we want to do. It is the last thing we want. But in August of this, uh, this year, this government is trying to impose a contract on a generation of doctors, a generation of doctors that were never politicised and would never have done any of these things. But having, that, having pushed to this barrier, what else do we do? So on those days of action, doctors will be there. Consultants will be there. Nurses will be there. Lots of staff and specialist grade doctors will be there. People will be there to look after you. But you need to stand up and fight for those doctors. You need to fight for those nurses. Because if you don't, you lose them. And that is a disaster for this country.
our generation of nurses and doctors are the future of the NHS, and we will be there to pick you up. But this government needs to learn that actually we aren't just going to be broken the back. We are not going to be broken to do that. We are going to stand up for our patients. We'll stand up for every one of you. Please stand up for us. Thank you very much.